Uh, and what we want to consider, I want to consider the functions. Consider, let's consider, consider the functions, the functions, okay? Let's consider the functions f that takes values in a into values in b and also the function g which takes values in b into values of c uh, as defined by as defined as defined by the following arrow diagram by the following by the following the following the following arrow arrow diagram okay so let's show you how these particular functions work okay so what we have is we have the set a okay so the set a okay we have the set b so we have the set b okay and we have the set c so we have the set c so the set c uh, and what i'd like to define is i'd like to define the function g after f so i'd like to define the function g after G after we do F okay so the set A contains the values 1 2 3 and 4 so it contains the values 1 2 3 and 4 set B contains the values A B C D and E and the, va and the set C contains the values 7 8 and nine okay okay so they're the values that are contained here and let's say then that uh, this this mapping let's say f okay so what we need to do is we need to do f first okay so let's just say for argument's sake that the definition of f which takes values from a to b is that let's say one is taken to a okay uh, let's say two is taken to let's say for argument's sake two is taken to d okay uh, let's say three is taken to b okay three is taken to b and let's say four is taken to four is taken to c just for argument's sake okay now what we can actually see this is the definition of the function f okay so is f a function first of all okay well it should be a function every value in a is f a function f should be a function from a to b so the first definition the first rule that needs to be satisfied is that every value of a is mapped into some value of b Okay, and you can clearly see that we have a single arrow. We have an arrow leaving every value of A into some value of B. So we satisfy the first condition. What about the second condition? The second condition says that if I choose if I choose any two values, any two separate values from A, okay, that these values are taken to separate values in B. They're not taken to the same value, in other words, okay? Uh, so if I choose any separate values in A, okay, so you can see we're choosing these two values here, and you can see that they're mapped to two separate values. And actually, you can see that in all cases, we have a situation where we have separate values, okay, mapped to separate values over in the set B, if that makes sense. So it satisfies the second condition. So F actually is a function, if that makes sense, okay. Uh, what about the function G? Okay, let's say G is defined to be, okay, so what G does is it takes A, it takes A, let's say for argument's sake, A goes to seven, so A goes to seven. Uh, let's say B goes to nine, so B goes to nine. Uh, let's say E goes to E goes to eight, okay. And let's say for argument's sake that nine goes to nine goes to nine goes to let's say uh, where will we do that? We'll say that nine goes to nine goes to seven as well, okay. So we have nine goes to seven, okay. And we also have C goes to let's say c goes to eight if that makes sense okay so c goes to eight okay so is g a function well let's see by the definition okay so by the definition of a function what we must have is that every value in b must be taken to a value in c okay so do we have that okay do we have this as a situation okay is every value is every value in b taken to a value in c okay that's important okay uh, well you can see that every single value here okay every single value is is actually taken to a value over in C so what we know in this case is that what we know is that that G satisfies the first condition of a function and uh, what about the second condition of a function okay uh, the second condition of a function says that if we have any two values if sorry if we have any two values over here and if they're taken to the if they're if they're taken to values if they're taken to values over here if they're the same value over here okay if we have any two values over here that are the same value, okay, and that if they're taken to values over here, okay, that what we must have is that they must be taken to the same value over here. So to be a function, 
I saw, sorry, a moment ago when I defined F, I was actually defining uh, F from an injective perspective. So actually just ignore that, okay? So what's important here is this, is maybe just roll back to F. For F to be a function, every value in A must be mapped into a value in B of B. Uh, 